Welcome back to part three of the jack-o'-lantern tutorial. At this point, if you haven't saved your part, it would be wise to do so. If you just go up to save, if it hasn't been saved yet, it'll bring you to the save as. And I want to save this as Jack Osterhouse. Save it as something meaningful. Don't leave it as part one, part two, because those are the default part names in Inventor. And if you start letting things be saved as part one, part two, it's going to be really challenging to find things back. So Jack Osterhouse, I think that works for me. Hit save and uh, it should be saved properly. What we're going to do now is we're going to put the stem on it. What you want to do is you're going to go to start 2D sketch and you're going to mouse over the top of the pumpkin. You might want to zoom in a little bit for this because when you mouse over the top there will be two different planes that it will allow you to choose. The easiest one to choose is going to be this big circle. If you're careful though you can find one of these little triangles. The top of each of the sections of the pumpkin has a little triangle. You want that flat face that's the top of the of the pumpkin and it's one of these little triangles. See how there's one on top of each one? So don't grab that big circle, grab one of these little triangles after you've hit start 2D sketch, click on that little triangle. All right, so we are ready to create a sketch on the top. So if you remember when you were at the pumpkin patch, they, the stems of the um, pumpkins are kind of a weird shape. I don't know actually what the shape is, but I think a six sided shape is probably going to do the trick in terms of making it look pretty similar. So we're just going to start by dropping a randomly sized, you know, just, just try to eyeball it to a decent size, um, six sided shape up at the top here, probably center it. There we go. And then you're going to finish sketch. That's all you're going to do on that sketch. Hit finish sketch. And so now you have a, just a sketch with a six sided shape. All right. What we're going to do now is go to the 3d model ribbon. And we need to create a plane that we can draw on that's up above here, a little ways. So we're going to go to plane. We're going to go offset from plane. And then we're going to click on one of those little triangles again. And as soon as you click on it, it'll give you this little arrow pointing up. And you can just drag that arrow or you can type something in the box. You probably want to go up about two inches at this point. Place that new plane right about there. And it might look like a super tiny plane, but that doesn't matter. You just need to, you don't need to draw within the lines of the plane. And so then there's several ways that you can create a, um, let me, let me just orbit around and show you what that looks like. So you've got this little plane in space and you're going to create a sketch on it. If you zoom into that, I'm getting out of my orbit tool there and click on one of the edges. It'll give you these little tiny tools that you can grab onto and you can just create a sketch on that plane. So we're going to create a sketch on the plane. Don't worry about the outline of the plane at all. Um, we are basically drawing two inches above this existing one here. I'm going to use the same polygon, a six sided polygon. And I am going to center this one as well, but make it a little bit smaller. And I'm going to turn it a little bit. Mm, something like that done. And again, I'm not putting any precise measurements on it. I just want it to be set up there. All right. I'm going to hit finish sketch. My two sketches are done. Two polygons, one on top of each other. And I want one more sketch before I finalize the stem because they never kind of, they never grow straight up. They always kind of curve over to the side and it gives it a much nicer look as well. In order to put the final sketch on so that I can build the stem, I need to open up this little origin section on the model browser over here. So I click on the origin, which opens it up. And once I'm in the origin, I have all of my basic starting planes that I can choose from. What I want is I want one of the ones that goes right through the center. So not that one because it's at the bottom. I want either this one or this one. Either one will do. Click on one of those planes 
and then click on offset from plane and uh, then you will be able to drag it by grabbing that arrow there which is probably what you want to do if you recall from when we originally built this jack-o-lantern I believe it was eight inches was the di was the radius of it so halfway across it so let's just put in eight inches and that should place the plane just at the outside edge of the widest part of the um, pumpkin so hit OK and so there we have our third plane all right for this plane we want to create a sketch on it click on the outer edge and go to this create sketch all right the trick here once again you have this plane but you don't need to draw within it it's just a square that's defining where the plane is we're going to do one more of the six-sided polygons and this time you want to have it up above the two existing planes a little bit and uh, just make a little one here because it gets smaller with each time and you can see how wide this one is here the the second plane the second polygon we made so this third one needs to be a little bit smaller and I'll hit done and finish sketch and now I have these three sketches ready to go let's stop there for a moment